pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight is our second annual National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. I am pleased and proud to be here with you as we celebrate the accomplishment of a group of students who have regularly displayed the National Junior Honor Society five pillars. One is scholarship, two, leadership, the third one is service, the fourth one is character, and the fifth one is citizenship. I'm going to take a detour for one second because there's a young lady who's in the fourth grade that's sitting in the back and she said to me, why are we here today? And I explained to her what each of these pillars means. Um, and with each of the pillars, there's a lot of responsibility that a student here has to demonstrate. You know, what does leadership really mean? What is somebody with a strong character? So as a school, we're not just working on the academic piece, which is the scholarship, but we're working on developing the whole child. So that's what I was trying to explain to this young lady who Mr. McCarran is sitting right there with her uncle and her mom and she will be on stage in a couple of years. So I just embarrassed her, I'm sorry. Uh, the students here tonight have demonstrated these five things with dignity and pride in themselves, their families and their school. This group of students, they, I mean, you are their parents and you know who they are, but the teachers here, they see, we see them day by day. We see what they can do, we see them at their best, and at their low, but one thing that they have is strong character. They exhibit that every day. They have worked hard in their classes and achieved high grades and excellent recommendation as good scholars should. They are resourceful in their approach to problems and offer proactive solutions as good, as good leaders should. They willingly volunteer their time and effort and represent their class and school like good community members should. So for example, today, was in Richmond, and we had a young lady that needed some extra support. And I said to Kalina Rosado, I said, Kalina, this is your new job this year. You are going to mentor this student for the rest of the year. Not, she didn't hesitate, not one second. She said, okay. She took her away. That's what we mean by that. They exemplify the characteristic of good students through their honesty and reliability and uphold ethical principles like good students should. They understand the importance of civic involvement and demonstrate a high regard for the principles of freedom and justice for all as good citizens should. Tonight you are here to participate in the induction of a group of students who I am proud to be able to, to say attend the Gilman Middle School. Their teachers are proud. I'm sure you as their parents are proud as well. And I hope you are very proud of yourselves. So, esta noche estamos celebrando el honor y el esfuerzo de estos niños que tenemos aquí. Ustedes como padres y madres saben quién tienen en su casa. Nosotros lo vemos en lo alto y en lo bajo. Pero ellos exhiben diferente carácter, eh, no solamente en la área académica, sino en todas las áreas que una buena persona debe demostrar en nuestra sociedad. Eh, es un honor para mí y para los maestros que están presentes aquí. Eh, ahora voy a tomar otro momento para introducir a Ms. Pash y ella la voy a llamar al podio para que diga algo a ustedes. So, Ms. Pash, uh, they, I promised the parents that you were going to say it all in Spanish. <laughs> So hello and welcome again to the Gilmette Middle School. Tonight is our second annual National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. Um, I'm really proud to be here with you as we celebrate the accomplishments of the students who regularly display our National Junior Honor Society's five pillars. So there's five kind of pieces of this work that they're interested in and that they're being recognized as being part of. Scholarship, they're super smart. 
leadership. They lead, and that doesn't mean they always have a leadership position. It might mean they lead, like uh, Dr. Reynoso's story today with Kalina. Service, so they provide service to the community. We do that inside the school, uh, and also they do that in their personal lives. Character, that's a critical one. Character is who they are as a human being, how they treat other people, and how they view themselves. I almost view that like as if you don't have that, you're not part of this group. So that you're here today, this is pretty huge. Don't ever lose that with all of what life gives you. And then citizenship. Citizens of our school, of our country, of our city. There's many things we're citizens of, of your family. It's really very important. The students here tonight have demonstrated these five things with dignity and pride in themselves and their families and their school. They've worked hard in their classes and achieved high grades and excellent recommendations as good scholars should. They're resourceful in their approach to problems and offer proactive solutions as good leaders should. They willingly volunteer their time and effort and represent their class and school like good community members should. They exemplify the characteristics of good students through their honesty and reliability and uphold ethical principles like good students should. And lastly, they understand the importance of civic involvement and demonstrate a high regard for the principles of freedom and justice for all as a good citizen should. Tonight you're here to participate in the induction of a group of students I'm really proud to be able to say they, they attend the Gilmet. The teachers are proud, and I'm sure you as parents and family members are proud, and I hope you're very proud of yourselves. Hi, my name is Adeliza Rosario, and I've been the president of National Junior Honor Society since the beginning of this school year, and Mr. McCarran, our, like, te our leader, he asked me if I can write what my definition of National Junior Honor Society is, so what I'm going to read is that. So. National Junior Honor Society is not just a stole that we wear around our shoulders. We are more than the smart kids of the school. We are the promoters of leadership, and we render service to our school and the community. Like Mr. McCarran loves to remind us, we are special, and we are. There is no need to look past that or minimize the meaning of being part of National Junior Honor Society for the sake of others. There's a difference between being ego egotistical and being proud. Today marks a day where our pride is at its peak because nothing worth having comes easy. We are here, we are all here to recognize not only the students we have grown into, but the successful people we are all working hard to become one day. Being part of National Junior Honor Society is a huge responsibility. From my personal experience, this program has taught me how to balance so many things at once. From tutoring math twice a week and working on pers personal development lesson plans with my peers, in addition to our daily homework, NJHS has helped me acknowledge my strengths and weaknesses. It has helped me be open-minded about my future, whether that's a year, well, bleh, sorry, whether that's a year from now or in decades to come, this program will open all positive doors for me. My next step now is choosing where I am taking my life academically and socially. I only share my experience to let others in on my pride. I can promise my best friend can say something completely different and so can the next person. The experience is what you make it. I believe we create our own destiny. National Junior Honor Society gives you that extra push you need to guide you into your definition of success. Being part of National Junior Honor Society is not something that will define who we are, but is a label that will help us express our personalities. It shows that we have the potential to exceed in an environment where the stereotype is that we will never feel the grand rush of victory, but National Junior Honor Society is our victory. The victory that shows we are the leaders in pride, the leaders of character, charisma, and the future leaders of our society. I remember going, going to an interview a couple months back and the interviewer was asking me what I was part of in school. I briefly mentioned being part of National Junior Honor Society and the, and the interviewer looks at me, an, an impressed look on his face and he quiets down. It seemed like the entire world had stopped. I remember him asking me why I take that so lightly and why I just rushed by it. I had no answer then and I have no answer now. All I know is that that ignited the spark in me which helped me understand the seriousness that comes with National Junior Honor Society. There are students who wished they were in our spots and which is why we should not take our opportunities for granted. We are the juniors of this program, meaning it is time where we carve our own path. It is our responsibility to set the example and let others walk through our footprints so they can make their own mark. Thank you, Adeliza. 
The next part of the program is the lighting of the candles. Um, each person, there'll be five people that will light one candle and then come up here and read a little piece of what the candle means. So the first one I want to introduce is Shabeli Garcia. <laughs> Shabeli will light the first candle and she will speak about character. Well, I'm Shabeli, as Mr. McCarran mentioned, and I was a former and National Junior Honor Society member, and I will be reading to you what character means. Character is a force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives one individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides one through life. And when one, once developed, grows steadily, character is achieved and not received. It is a product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is a problem of self-control. We must be in the reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Thank you, Shabelli. The next person will be talking about leadership. That's Carolina Riaz. Leadership. Leaders should exert a positive influence on the school in taking the initiative in class and school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. Thank you, Carolina. The next one to talk about scholarship is Adeliza Rosario. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world to the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Thank you, Adeliza. The next one to speak is on citizenship, and that's Ibiana Collado. Citizenship is the obligation each member of our society faces to live up to their domestic um, geometric ideal given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibility each of us has to our home community, our state, and our nation are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unites us as, civilized, as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives for all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedom and the rights that we have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of, the cha of this chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. Thank you, Aviana. Uh, the next one is services, and that's with Lisa Lee Paradis. Service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to, help, to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Thank you, Lisa Lee. The next part of the program is the induction of new members. Uh, I'll introduce Scott Kamada to talk about the seventh grade students. Good 
Good evening, everyone. Um, the first inductee from the seventh grade will be Sandra Ariola. Our next inductee will be Kiara Lee Berrios. Next we have Alex Boo. Next, we'll have Sonny Chen. Next we have Andrea Descent. Next we have Jelena German. Next we have Darleni Gomez. Next is Adamir Heredia. Next is Celeste Lozada. Next is Priscilla Reyes. Next is Jeleni Rojas. And our last inductee for the seventh grade is Jada Santiago. For the eighth grade, we have Grizel Canario. Good job. 
Catherine Carrillo. Is Balni Gonzalez. Gladys Jiminian. Mayeli Lopez. <laughs> Jason Rodriguez. Kalina Rosado. Rixandra Samboy. <laughs> Erica Velez. Thank you, Ms. Cloutier. How about a round of applause for all of our new inductees? Before we have the closing remarks, we need to say the National Junior Honor Society pledge. So would everybody, all oh, the inductees stand up, please. What's that? Just them. Just them. You ready? I pledge myself Thank you. That was such a joy um, and so special to the Gilmet because as I was watching I just saw like the pride on your parents' faces, the different characters come out, some shyness come out. Like we really see who you guys are and we've really watched you guys grow. And boy, isn't that the proudest thing as you know, teachers and staff at this school to see. So we're really proud of you and that was just a, a moment I'll think about before I sleep tonight and be very proud of you. So thank you for that. So I want you to know that you're all exceptional students. We're smart, we pay attention to school, 
but you're also exceptional people. And that's the legacy we hope you take away from that ceremony, this ceremony tonight. You're somebody capable of being a leader, of having character and a sense of who you are. We heard that in our speeches. And you know it's important to work hard for yourself, but also for others. Uh, tonight you become part of a group which spans the entire nation. There's national junior honor societies all across our states from north to south, east to west. It's a group that has the ability to change school, the city, and the world into a better place. So really think about that as uh, we shared today in that interview when somebody said, why are you glossing over this National Honor Society thing? It's a big deal, guys. So remember that and uphold its, it, the five pillars, please. I know you will.